seems like it's been an eternity that it's taken for me to get enough Taloric Pearls to turn them into a five-star gem. I should say a two out of five-star gem. I've done this once before, which means this is only the 80th Taloric Pearl I've ever gotten inside of Diablo Immortal. For those of you that don't know what these Taloric Pearls are, well, they are a new resource in the game that you can get from the Hilts Trader or from other various rewards from participating in events that allow you to craft a five-star gem. Now, the issue is that it's a two out of five, so it's really not a great five-star gem, but it can be used as food to upgrade another five-star gem. So, if I look at my build really quickly, uh, let's take a look and see what we have. I'm only rocking two five-star gems. One of them is a rank four, three out of five-star seeping bile, and the other is a rank four, three out of five star blood soaked jade. Now, in my opinion, there's only one way to do this. Now, if you saw my previous videos, there could possibly be some new gem systems coming to Diablo Immortal. That could be happening. So we have to take this with a grain of salt how important the Taloric Pearls are. But even with that said, let's open the market and take a look at some uh, values right here. So I want to see what a 2 out of 5 star Seeping Bile is going for and a 2 out of 5 star Blood Soaked Jade. 2 out of 5 Seeping Bile, let's say 64,000 Platinum. A Blood Soaked Jade, 60... Wow, that's actually a good deal right here, 60,000. 60, so they're actually pretty, pretty comparable in price, in value. There are more Seeping Biles available on the market by a little bit, so my gut has told me that I should probably just go ahead and upgrade or purchase or craft, I should say, the Taloric Pearl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here. I'm going to craft a Taloric Pearl, and I have to select the gem that I want to use. I could choose any gem in the game I want. Five star. And I'm going to craft this Blood Soaked Jade right now or now there we go we got our two out of five star bsj what will it actually take though to upgrade our blood soaked jade let's see what it's looking for it's looking for one i got it i got it right here the blood soaked jade i have that gem but it's also looking for two rank three blood soaked jades so I am not going to have that. I probably won't. What I did just notice, though, is I could also craft myself a Legendary Crest. Check this out. We have enough Fading Embers to craft a Legendary Crest. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And with that also being said, I did notice that I have enough Legendary Crests to run an Elder Rift with legendary crests. So I think that that's something that I should go do right now with you guys, because why not? Maybe today's Taloric Pearl luck will bring me enough luck to pull in another five-star gem in an Elder Rift. What do you think? I mean, it's a possibility. It could happen. Let's go see over here what we got. We're gonna claim this. We're gonna remove all of these. Dink, dink, dink. We're gonna put in one two, three, because that means we could sell them. We're going to add seven. Bam. Looks like we're going on in with a random party. Let's see who we can find here. Anybody good want to join? And then we're going to jump on in and see what we can get. Luck. Uh, I guess I could say it hasn't really been on my side. What I'm really looking for now running these is to be able to get gems that I could sell because what I really want is platinum. That's what has value for me, all right? I just care about the platinum. Now, since we've changed the camera orientation and all that stuff, I have not uh, have not recorded anything live like this, so let's see what it all looks like. All right, we've got our aspirin keys. As you can see, we just did start out for the day. And by the way, this was pre-recorded -reco quite a bit because I, am, I was at BlizzCon, so I pre-recorded a couple of videos for you guys while I was gone. Hence the combat rating, or I should say my, my Paragon level, being a tad bit low. Where are we here? There we go. Kind of got to look at the screen. There we are. We'll go right here.
take all these guys out. We'll grab all this stuff. Looking good. I don't know why those guys are lagging behind. They may just be trying to uh, butcher the system. We're going to go right here. We'll go with some primary attacks. I absolutely love the primary attack of the Blood Knight. It's really awesome. And how it gets that speed, it's also really awesome. We're going to go right here. We're going to go bats through everybody, try and heal up a little bit, and move on. Did everyone go the other way? Does that mean that I'm going to have to, like, go fight the boss on the other side of the map? Let's go follow the bunch. Where is this? Oh, right here. I actually went to the right spot. We'll take the, the globes right here. And then, uh, shall we? Shall we go ham right now? Let's go ham right now. And, uh, yeah. Look at this. We got a level 55 in here with us. Someone that's not even paragoned yet. And now, all the rewards. Let's see what we can actually grab out of this thing. Oh, I saw bright white. I saw bright white. Is that just it? Oh, man. I think we got something good. I think we got something good here, boys. Oh, my God. I did. What? Check this out. Tell me. Tell me it's a good one. A three out of five star blood soaked jade. What the he I've never gotten one of those from an Elder Rift. Maybe... The luck that I needed was that Taloric Pearl. Maybe I'm going to always now say... Wait, I wonder if I could sell that. Let's go see if it's a sellable one or not. That's a big deal. But check these out, guys. Check out this gem summary right there. Three out of five star BSJ? That's what we're talking about. That doesn't happen very often. I mean, I'll take more stars anytime, but three out of five... Not so bad at all. Can't complain about that. But what we got to do is, is the test right now. We got to see if I can sell it. Because if I can, we're talking about some serious platinum gains. So what I'm going to do is, because I have the boon of plenty, I can open my market remotely. We're going to go to sell. I cannot sell it. I could sell my cutthroat, which we will go, uh, we'll go market value. Actually, we'll go right there. We'll list that bad boy. We're going to go with this one right here. Let's actually go a little bit higher because we'll be able to get it. How about 893? I like that. And this one right here, Lowe's Focus Gaze. We'll go up a little bit, list that one as well. We do have a Bottled Hope, a two out of five star Bottled Hope. I could get quite a bit of platinum from, but I'm just holding on to that bad boy. But this is what we grabbed that was sellable and uh, everything else that we have. We have a decent satchel of gems right here. Two Blood Soak Jades. Pretty unbelievable. Never thought I'd be seeing that in my satchel, being someone that is a very light spender inside of the game. But I will tell you, my friends, it's been a successful video. It's been a successful day. We've gotten some good stuff right here out of our both, out of our Taloric Pearls and out of our Elder Rift run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you back in tomorrow's video.